So this is an old phony seal of the week when I first got started. Uh, this guy's a, a fake seal. He's a fake recon. He's a fake sniper with fake awards. He couldn't tell the truth if he tried right until he gets to me and I basically beat it out of him. Yeah, uh, Marvin, were you a Navy SEAL? Force recon guy, right? Were you a sniper in the Marine Corps? Recon tattoo on your shoulder. A purple heart? Did you really get a purple heart? The first Gulf War. Claim many awards for valor and a purple heart in Beirut. Nobody named Bruce listed. We went to a, uh, a wedding in August here in Virginia. <laughs> and they sat us out there early. At least an hour early. In the heat. It was stupid. The wedding was delayed. And I'm in my Navy choker whites and my hat and everything, and I'm sitting there in my seal zone because sweat is just pouring down my face. And Diane is uh, sitting next to me uh, around all the other people, and she's going, oh, my God, it's hot. Oh, is it hot? Are you I'm hot? That bad. Is it hot around here? Is anybody <laughs> else hot? And why did they say this early? It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. <laughs> it's so hot. I was pissed off. And I'm not saying anything. I am looking at the flipping chair in front of me just trying to control myself and it's hot it's hot is you are you hot it's hot so hot it's so hot you're full of shit i wasn't that no bad. it was bad and because uh, diane complains a lot like that and uh <laughs> i just couldn't take it anymore i exploded and i looked right at her and i said will you shut the <laughs> fuck up <laughs> Oh, you did. Whole wedding party. You could have heard a pin drop. I know how Marines are. They don't like that shit. I really know how Marines are. That's where all these teeth are gone from U.S. Marines. They knocked all my teeth out up here. Oh, boy. Hello? Marvin! Yes? I need my money back for that home appraisal. You screwed me. Nah, what? Nah, I'm just kidding, dude. How you doing? Hey, uh, Marvin, were you a Navy SEAL? Huh? Were you a Navy SEAL? Um, I remember. Who is it? It's Don Shipley, bro. Who? Got that, uh, Class 197. SEAL Team 3. Was that you? I don't remember you. Yeah. Never a, uh, not a SEAL, or you were a SEAL? Force Recon guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, and a SEAL. I just, I, I went to a first school, an honorary member. I honorary. was never a Navy SEAL, no. An, oh, an I, honorary. honorary member. Uh, a Marine going through SEAL training. It was a SEAL talking trash to another SEAL. Yeah. It was all under, under the books, and under, there is no big deal. Mm. I don't think we got, we didn't get what the real SEALs got. Nah, I'm not like sure you got, I'm not sure you got a whole <laughs> lot of, uh, much of anything, but what I'm getting here, what that was sent, because I'm the guy that verifies this, uh, is that you were, uh, talking about Class 197, SEAL Team 3, CIA, no. Uh, no. you pull that pics in uniform, I'm looking at a whole bunch of pictures of you up here, it's crazy. Do you remember the phrase I coined for you chicks in the Navy when we were in it? What? Dingy sea broads. Oh, I remember that. So insulting, once again. You were pulling a dingy sea broad move. It's not the Queen Mary. You know, it's not the USS Eisenhower that you're... It's a fucking water scooter. That flies. How hard could that be? It flies. Flies? Yeah, I felt like I was going to turn over. That thing's got a lot of play in it. So none of that. You you did go through some kind of SEALs training, but... It was not the real thing. Yeah. Well, why would you be telling people uh, that? Have you ever told anyone you were a SEAL, Marvin? No. No. You don't have a SEAL trident on your motorcycle? Is that somebody else's motorcycle I'm looking at? Uh, just for decoration. Oh, well, what, is that kind of a tribute thing? Pretty much. Yeah. You don't have any Marine Corps things you can put up there instead of uh, Navy SEAL things? 
I'm a retired SEAL. I, you know, when people contact me, I, I verify these claims. I didn't see any listing in the SEAL database. I know no Marines have gone through SEAL training. I don't think you would have had SEAL buddies that would have put you through any modified thing, but you sure got the uh, jump wings and uh, trident up there. And some sniper oh. stuff. Were you a sniper in the Marine Corps? It's so what? It's what? You're breaking up real bad. Yeah, I, I know. I, I've, I've gone through that before. Bronze Star, Purple Heart. From Lebanon. Off the books, yes. Off the books. Classified stuff. No, no. It, I wasn't supposed to be there, so I really didn't get it. You're wearing one. Officially. But you're wearing it? Is that an accurate set of uh, rack of ribbons for you? No. Was that some kind of thing you just do or something? I, I'm not getting it. Halloween thing. Say. Halloween thing. I didn't even touch the gas. I just hit the start button, and that damn thing went vroom! <laughs> I about broke the dock, so that was the first it thing that was still died to the dock by one line. <laughs> Rips that old dock to pieces. I blamed it on Brandy. It so, looked like the scene from Jaws where they throw the meat <laughs> in the water. So anyway, I'm determined to not let this jet ski kick my ass. <laughs> this was your fault, too. So the plan was... In conversation about how great he was, he also included that he went to and graduated from Bud's. And asked the class, he said 197 and was SEAL Team 3. No truth to any of that. He's kind of stretching it out there a little bit uh, for the masses uh, doing these appraisals, Marvin? No, it's just a mistake. How long did you actually, uh, you actually served in the Corps, though? Almost 16 years, from 82 to 96. Yeah. But uh, some of those awards you're wearing up there, you weren't entitled to? No. Yeah, you know what that's called, don't you? Yeah, and I shouldn't do it. Yeah, you need to uh, clean that thing won't. up. If you're in that biker group up there, you know how those guys, they boy, they don't like that shit. Then the boys were in survival area. I was going to go by once, turn around, and I was going to roll up on the bank and have surprise food for the students. Well, these idiots, instead of parking on the outside to give me a clear way to get in there, you... It, Zodiacs was like a pack of cigarettes. You couldn't have got an ink pen in between them. And I didn't want to bust up your motors, so I ended up killing the jet ski, and I just thought I'd just glide right up. <laughs> I was all up on the top of Don's brand new boat motors, and he was so mad at me. <laughs> he come down there looking at me like he was going to kill me, and he stepped into that damn <laughs> Zodiac. And his foot got caught on the paddle, and he fell at first. <laughs> the look you gave me. All oh, the sniper stuff. Were you actually a sniper? Not an actual old 317, no. Oh, boy. Is there any part of uh, your stuff that's uh, accurate? Combat action. Yeah. Well, where was that at? I'll talk to you. In uh, first Gulf War. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I forget the number. The CSSG I was with, but yeah. we were kind of helping out. Yeah, they got, ooh. That's a sharp picture of you in that dress uniform uh, at that cake cutting ceremony or something there in uh, 2008, uh, the whole recon. Were you actually recon? No. You got a recon tattoo on your shoulder? No, it's uh, something I got off the t-shirt. But it's a recon oh. recon tattoo on your shoulder. That's what it says. Uh, uh, also Force Recon. He has the Force Recon insignia tattooed on his left shoulder that he was proud to show. 
Nothing ringing a bell with that. I I showed him, but it wasn't recon, recon. Mm-hmm. I tell you, these things have a way of catching up, and then you know your business is affected, and the veterans' organizations are all after you. Your wife finds out about it. Your girlfriend. I'm looking here at the. Uh, that sure looks like a seal trident on that motorcycle vest you're wearing. Is that what that is? I I believe so. I took it off of there and put it on my bike. Yeah, it's not good, Marvin. You know, you you serve honorably. Uh, and, and, and that should be enough. There shouldn't be any need for embellishing. But, you know, when you're in a business like you are of home appraisals and people need to trust you to tell them the truth and give them accurate appraisal, not only for selling but for buying, and then, you know, shit like this all comes up. You know, it, it's, it's, it isn't doing your stuff any good. I don't know if you get got a fallback plan for uh, what happens after that whole appraisal stuff, but... Uh, some of these uh, pictures, I'm looking at you with all this crap on Purple Heart. Did you really get a Purple Heart? No, I was wounded, but not, it didn't, didn't count. And that was in the first Gulf War? Yeah. And it's saying here, uh, claim many awards for valor and a Purple Heart in Beirut. Perhaps all, that stuff will be all that's to be removed. Yeah. Perhaps it was a traumatic brain injury. You're struggling to uh, keep up with where shit actually happened. You know, it brings the whole thing into question. But because it had done took off on me one time and about tore the dock out, I was scared to give it too much gas. And there you was, hollering and screaming, just give it some goddamn gas. <laughs> yes, scream. you did too. You, you were screaming, were embarrassing me. So I said to I you, didn't scream anything. get the hell in your car and get the fuck out of here. I did. I will park this thing on that trailer. And I left her ass at the marina down and there. And I was happy you did. Hands of the swamp billies that live because around here. Because Matt, that has a little bit of patience. Going banjo, guys. There, there, there. Matt talked me right through it. I got that thing up on that trailer, and away we went. See, you stress me out. You don't have any patience with me, and when I get stressed out, I can't no. park a boat. It says volumes about a guy who was a, uh, a United States Marine and served honorably. No need to embellish all that shit with Force Recon, Sniper, Purple Hearts, Bronze Stars, SEAL claims, weird stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Stupidity on my part. Yeah, knock it off, bro. Sound good? I will. I will. Yes, sir. I, I, I trust you. Thank you. No, thank you. I'm just trying to run survival training for the guys. There's a lot of pressure on me. And we add uh, jet ski into the mix that we'd never used before. You've never ridden one. And it might as well have been an FA-18 Hornet or some shit she was fucking <laughs> trying to drive. I don't even get mad at these SEAL videos anymore. Nobody, I just, I just fucking sit here and fucking stoop out with a screwdriver and just fucking call these guys. And my heart is getting so hardened by them that nothing they say anymore normally pisses me off. And this bit about killing women and children and your buddy raping them and rats is doing no justice to the United States military nor serving the Navy in any capacity whatsoever. They're horrible, despicable stories, and you ought to be ashamed of yourself telling that bullshit to that Army vet over there and all this stuff that he's done. I bet you were a CB or you served in the galley on some fucking scowl in the U.S. Navy, but you were never a SEAL.